All right, today I wanted to show you and tell you a little bit about the character in my game, the art style, the weapons, equipables, and the grass in my 3D survival game. So let's jump right in. I wasn't exactly satisfied with the previous character I had. I just felt like it wasn't the right fit for the world I'm trying to create here. I did want to use him because he came with a bunch of armor sets and I thought of creating a lot of them, but I wasn't exactly satisfied with the previous character I had. I just felt like it wasn't the right fit for the world I'm trying to create here. On, let me introduce you to the new character. For now, let's just call him Bob. Bob the Blacksmith. Dirty, crafty, and a good fit to try and survive in this beautiful, but harsh environment. He, to me, looks a bit more like he's made to survive out in the wild. For now, he has only one armor, but it is upgradable, I think, four times for now. Those upgrades will change the look of the armor a little bit and probably unlock some new things you could build maybe or parts of the world you could unlock, things like that. I especially want to focus on items that change up the gameplay a bit and are unique. I'm not a fan of those like plus 5 armor, plus 5 damage. I want them to be unique, have unique effects and feel impactful and rewarding when you finally get to acquire those items. Next up, I wanted to show you the new dedicated weapon slot. You now can wield your weapon on the back and in your inventory, it's a dedicated slot. All I had to do was change a bit in the inventory code. So the inventory checks for this slot in particular, if it's a weapon and if it is, puts it in the slot and activates the weapon model on the back. As soon as you start swinging, pull it out and start swinging around. Here's some concept art. Keep in mind, very early concept art of oh, how those weapons might look like. I'm still working on coloring and whatever. But those are some heavy type swords and one or the other. A little bit wacky idea. I'm going to try to experiment that might change up gameplay a little bit. While working on the weapons, I also figured that the current animation is a little bit stiff. So I went ahead, grabbed some new animations from Mixamo. A uh, nice triple hit combo. This just makes the combat feel so much more impactful and fluid and fun to mess around with. To round it all up, I added some slash effects. Um, those are also going to give me a lot of room to play around with maybe different elemental types or things like that. Next up, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the art style. I feel like I'm at a really good point now. I feel like this is what I want to be going for. And I'm going to try to implement this somewhat cell shaded Breath of the Wild style with moody lighting uh, throughout the entire game and try to match whatever else I'm going to implement to this art style. And a very important part of this art style, or rather the world itself, is the grass. It's going to be covering most of it. And I know a lot of you have already asked me how I did it, how I created it. Well, the answer is simple, I didn't. It's an asset. It took me quite a while to find the right one. I tried multiple, but none of the others worked the way I needed to work. They either didn't just didn't look right, or didn't have the performance, or didn't work on object. But then I found this asset, which is super amazing. It looks just the way I wanted to, and it works just the way I need to. I can just place the asset into the scene press a button and it wraps the grass around the designated objects below it. Perfect. Then I can just put it in a prefab, put that prefab in the world generator. Boom! I have grass on the floating islands. Perfect. I can also go in and manually paint the grass and change the height, change the color, can even put some lighting into it, I think. I had to tweak it a little bit because it wasn't working with the sunlight I have, have been using, but I got that to work very easily. Now I can play around with it how much I want and adjust it for different zones and different kind of areas. I can adjust it to maybe a boss area to fit the colors, all that good stuff. So yeah, that's how I didn't make the grass. And that wraps up this devlog. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Have a great day.